today we are going to discuss about unit 6 reproduction so this is uh, the uh, concept we take from class 10 so already we discuss uh, there are 10 units are there in uh, biology nutrition respiration transportation excretion coordination this is reproduction coordination life process heredity our immune and concern and last only natural resources like that 10 units are there and this is the sixth unit reproduction so what is reproduction so here all living organisms they perform reproduction so reproduction helps the plants and animals to continue its species its race so for that we observed reproduction in case of plants and also in case of animals and uh, a reproduction is of two types. Reproduction is two types. So, first type of reproduction is called as asexual reproduction, and second type of reproduction is called as sexual reproduction. In asexual reproduction, and there is no involvement of gametes, a single parent can give what a new offspring without fusion of gametes, uh, without uh, fusion of male and female gametes and uh, a single parent can give what a new offspring that is called as uh, asexual reproduction. Asexual reproduction generally we observe in case of amoeba, in case of paramecium, in case of planarians, in case of yeast cells like that and plants also uh, spirogyra and they also give what new offspring from their body parts and that is called as uh, asexual reproduction. And next type of uh, reproduction is called as sexual reproduction. So here in sexual reproduction, two parents are required, a male and female animals are required and these animals they produce what uh, gametes that is uh, sperms and ova and finally fertilization takes place in the body of female or outside the body of female and that is called as sexual reproduction. So here after union of male and female gamete, zygote formation takes place and the zygote undergo division and finally develop as a, a new one. And here, uh, sexual reproduction also two types. So that is called as internal fertilization. Fertilization is two types. Internal fertilization or sexual fertilization. Internal fertilization we observe in case of higher animals like mammals, like reptiles and its birds. So here males release sperms in the body of female. And finally, urine of male and female gamete takes place in the body of female. And finally, they can do, either young one can do by, by the what? Uh, females. But uh, what is external fertilization? That is, uh, first we discuss inter internal fertilization. Ex what is external fertilization? External, ex external fertilization outside the body of female. Fishes, amphibians, they release large number of eggs and uh, sperms in water. And even a sperm and worm take place in water outside the body of female. And that is called as external fertilization. So we discuss what, what is the uh, reproduction and we discuss what what is asexual reproduction we also discuss what what is sexual reproduction we also discuss what what is the uh, internal fertilization and also what is uh, external fertilization now so we are going to discuss what human reproductive system that is the uh, placental mammals so while talking about reproduction in placental mammals like uh, human being and uh, in human beings, a special type of reproductive organs are developed to carry what reproduction. So this is, uh, you are observing what, uh, this is uh, male reproductive system, male reproductive system and that is uh, female reproductive system. Today, we are going to discuss what male and also female reproductive system in human beings. So this is male reproductive system. Male reproductive system can of a pair of testes. These two are called as testes and testes are present outside the abdomen, outside the body, outside the abdomen and uh, they are present in a skin sac that is called a scrotum, scrotum. In this scrotum, in this scrotum, testes are present, testes are two and uh, each testes consists of what? Large number of seminiferous tubules. So these are called as seminiferous tubules. Testes consists of seminiferous tubules. And these uh, seminiferous tubules can be some general epithelial cells. And uh, testes are produced in what? 
testosterone hormone, male sex hormone. In the presence of testosterone hormone and seminiferous tubules are producing what? Spermatozoa, sperms. And these sperms are carried to the vasa efferentia. So here you are saying 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 like that. These are tubules. And these tubules are called as vasa efferentia. Testis, seminiferous tubules, vasa efferentia. And this vasa efferentia carries what sperms just above the each testis, portion part of the testis. We can see the presence of what a coil tube structure and that is called as epididymis. This is called as epididymis. So this is testis and the seminiferous tubules, vasa efferentia and epididymis. And epididymis is useful to store the sperm temporarily. And finally, from epididymis, you see the presence of arising of a long tube and it ascends in the abdomen and coil around the Ureter bladder, ureters. These are called ureters, and finally it is joined what at urethra. This is called vasa, vasa difference, vasa different, vas difference. So these uh, vas different, they are useful to carry sperm, and finally the sperms may carry through urethra, urethra, urethra. Sperms are in the body of female are outside. So here we discuss what testis. Seminiferous tubules, vasa efferentia, epididymis, vas difference. Along that, we can observe the presence of what some other ducts. So, what are they? And here it comes up ejaculated duct and seminal vesicles. So, here they are called seminal vesicles. Seminal, a pair of seminal vesicles are present. Ejaculated duct is present. And a single prostate gland is present. And two copper glands are present. So, these are the parts of main parts of male reproductive system. Male, human male reproductive system consists of a pair of testes, vasa efferentia, epididymis, vasa deferens, and uh, this is urethra, and this is called as the penis. And uh, here we can see the trends of what uh, seminal seminiferous tubules and uh, prostate gland and copper gland, and these are the parts of human male reproductive system. Now we need to discuss about what seminal vesicles. Seminal vesicles are two and these seminal vesicles they are secreting what seminal plasma and this seminal plasma is helpful to nourish the sperms and uh, they also provide a, a fluid material to move in the body of female. So that is the functioning of what seminal vesicles and seminal plasma. And prostate gland are so producing what prostate fluid, and this prostate fluid are so providing nutrients and nourish the sperm when they are present outside. And uh, copper glands, and these glands are so secreting what some secretion, copper secretion, and this secretion neutralize the acidity, the walls of the acidity of the, uh, the walls of the uh, walls of the urethra, and uh, they may help the sperm to flow freely through the urethra. So that is the functioning of copper gland, copper gland and copper secretion. So we discuss what uh, seminal vesicles, prostate gland, copper gland, and we also discuss what main ma uh, main parts of human male reproductive system. And here these glands, so seminiferous tubules and uh, prostate gland and copper gland, they are secreting what seminal plasma. All these glands are secreting what fluid material, and these uh, fluid material collectively, collectively called as seminal plasma. Seminal plasma, along with sperms, is called what semen. So males release semen from the age of 13. So from the age of adult, so from that they release what sperm. So this is a brief description about what human male reproductive system, and. Uh, you may ask me a question like that. Why testes are present outside the abdomen? So testes should be present outside the abdomen, but not in the abdomen. If the testes are present in the abdomen, they may not secrete what sperm. So this is a sperm cell. This is sperm cell. And sperm cell consists of head and also wing piece and also tail. And it consists of what acrosome, it consists of what haploid nucleus. 
and mitochondria and all these structure all these are the parts of sperm cell and uh, these sperms are producing in uh, testes in, under the uh, control of testosterone hormone and testis temperature should be maintained low when compared to the body temperature you know our body temperature is 37 degrees centigrade or 98.4 degree 98.4 degrees fahrenheit so that temperature we maintain throughout the year throughout life span and uh, Here, in case of testes, they are present outside, and their temperature should be maintained low than body temperature, two to two point five degrees centigrade lower than the body temperature. That temperature is helpful each testes to secrete what sperm. So that is the reason testes are present outside the abdomen in total sex. That is brief description about what human male reproductive system. Now we are going to discuss about. what female reproductive system female this is female reproductive system so this is female reproductive system female reproductive system can be saw a pair of ovaries these are called as ovaries and these ovaries are two they are present in abdomen but in case of males they is present outside the body but in case of females ovaries are present present in the abdomen just below each kidney on either side of vertebral column and uh, two ovaries above that we can see the presence of fallopian tubes and uh, here you see a strong muscular sac this is called as uterus and this is called as vagina and functional mammary glands are so included with the female reproductive system these are called as the main parts of the female reproductive system and uh, we need to discuss about what ovulation what is ovulation so this is a ovary and ovary is or they release what ovum and ovaries consist of large number of uh, small um, structures so bubbles structures and they are called as ovarian follicles or grafting follicles so follicles they undergo maturation when a female girl reaches 13 years so that time uh, female they are releasing a estrogen hormone so in the presence of estrogen hormone and this graphene follicle undergo maturation in the center of the graphene follicle ovary present so this graphene follicle reach the outer membrane outer part of the ovary and it goes and release the ovum into the abdomen that is called as ovulation that is called ovulation what is ovulation the release of ovum from ovarian follicle is called as ovulation and this is applied what ovum or egg and this egg is collected by means of funnel like structure of the fallopian tube and finally this ovum enters into the fallopian tube and here it is uh, um, and here it is uh, fertilized by means of a sperm cell if she married and that time so if they if a female may have what copulation with male and that time male may release a sperm to the body of female and this sperm they fertilize and you know now ovum and also sperm take place and finally zygote is formed zygote is formed so zygote is formed here so this information you will learn in detail in the coming year 2024 and 25 so here ovum is fertilized and fertilized ovum is called as zygote and this zygote undergo mitotic cell division and it become a ball like structure and then zygote is called morla and later it slip down and it is attached to the inner uh, layers of the uterus so inner layers of the uterus is having what endometrial layers and this is a soft tissue soft tissue and in the soft tissue and this uh, what fertilized uh, that is uh, ovum that is zygote is uh, uh, sink and that process is called as ovum that is called as uh, implantation what is implantation to the abortion so here zygote gets what attached to the inner layers soft tissue of the endometrial uterus of the uterus and that is called as implantation and here further development takes place here in the endometrial layers of the uterus of the female and uh, here uh, this uh, zygote producing what four types of membranous structure so they are chorion amnion elanthides yolk sac so like that four membrane structures are produced and these four membrane structures are helpful for the growth of the what zygote and here 
or the embryo and this uh, up, after after when it sink in the uh, uterus it become what zygote and it producing what four membrane structure chorea outer layer amnion amnion having amnion fluid and chorea outer layer of the uh, that is the embryo called chorea it is having finger like projection it fuses with the uh, endometrial layers of the uterus and uh, it is also producing forming what the some of the tissue of the embryo and uh, some of the tissue of the uterus they form what placenta so placenta is a tissue that is developed from the 12th week of pregnancy it also an important structure and around the what embryo we can see the development of what uh, amnion amnion is having what amnion fluid and amnion amnion fluid from the developing embryo from mechanical shocks and uh, again we need to discuss about what elantise so elantise is structure and this elantise structure forms what umbilical cord and this is third membrane structure it is developed from the gut of the what embryo gut of the embryo okay and yolk sac has no role play in case of development of what embryo in case of placental mammals so we discuss what four membrane structures of what embryo they are chorion amnion elantise yolk sac so in the uterus this uh, uh, embryo completely develops and uh, from the third month of pregnancy this embryo is called as fetus and fetus grows in size and all body parts will be formed and uh, total time required for embryonic development is about 280 days or 9 months and that is called as gestation period that is called gestation period after gestation period and female can give birth to egg one so during the process of the giving delivery to a baby and here in case of females uh, labor pain starts and uh, contractions relaxation contraction relaxation start and here baby head turn toward the outer tract of the female and uh, uh, during the contraction stage the labor pain the head and body part push outside of the what female outer tract female reproductive tract and finally and she can a, a woman can give birth to a baby that is called a child birth after child birth also the child is having still connected with the uterus by means of what umbilical cord later doctor used to cut a small portion just above the navel uh, part of the baby and it is uh, tied and after few days it sinks and so it may be fall so that is called as a, a navel part and uh, after child birth also labor pains become severe and finally the total what uh, placenta membrane structure they are pushed out of the vagina of the female and that is called as after birth after birth only after birth only so from mammary glands and uh, a straw yellow color fluid is secreted and that is the colostrum that colostrum should be given to the new born baby it develops what body immunity power okay today we discuss what uh, a detailed structure of female reproductive system and the main parts of female reproductive system and uh, membrane structures of the what developing embryo and also we discuss what uh, human male reproductive system today we discuss what hello uh, today we discuss what male reproductive system also female reproductive system and uh, i told you already i told you uh, what are the main parts of what male reproductive system and also i told you what are the uh, main parts of female reproductive system and i i i we also discuss what the structure of spermatozoa a spermatozoa can is a head this is middle piece and this is tail and head can is a what apply nucleus head is covered by an acrosome acrosome is useful to penetrate into the ovum at the time of fertilization so that is the function of acro acrosome and uh, it is having what middle piece the sperm cell can is of large number of mitochondria and uh, they create they produce what energy that energy is useful to make the sperm to move in the body of female and tail is useful to propel the sperm in the body of female so uh, this is uh, a detailed structure of spermatozoa a sperm cell and this sperm cell is by the males and uh, again once again i am going to repeat this uh, male and female reproductive part so let us have a glance at this 
Main reproduction segment is a pair of testes. And what's a efferentia? Epidermis. What's a difference? Seminal vesicles, prostate gland, copper gland, ejaculate duct, and urethra. And this is penis. So these are the main parts of male reproduction. And these are called as glands. And these glands are secreting what? Seminal plasma. Seminal plasma along with sperms is called as semen. So male release sperm from the age of 13 and continues up to his last breath. So that is the, the male reproduction system, human male reproduction And female reproduction system continues up main, mainly uh, main parts. What are the main parts of it? female reproduction system? A pair of ovaries, a pair of fallopian tube and uterus and vagina functional memory glands also included with the female reproductive system. That is brief a uh, basic information regarding what uh, human, male and also female reproductive system. Hmm. Thank you.